right, welcome ladies. Here are your crochet needles. We call this time women's wellness because we want it to be a time for you lovely ladies to focus on yourselves. The Homeless Health Initiative is the oldest community health outreach program at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. And it started because pediatric residents saw an influx of families coming from shelters and they were using the emergency room for primary care. Emergency medicine is about being the safety net for the healthcare system. But so often for our homeless population, the medical is secondary to the psychosocial, the emotional, and often the emergency department isn't really equipped to handle the other drivers that are bringing people in. The pediatric residents wanted to try to make a change. They decided that they would go out into the shelters, build relationships with families, educate them about how to use the emergency room so that families would feel comfortable connecting with pediatric care providers and would begin to use that as their source of regular medical care. We have a couple doctors here to just answer any questions you may have about your kid's health or development. Anyone who's ever been to a doctor's office knows you were in and you were out before you can even blink. So the Women's Wellness Workshop is an opportunity for the women living at the shelter to have this captive audience of doctors and be able to ask them the questions that maybe they just didn't have enough time to ask their child's pediatrician. That's a great question and actually it sounds like you already have a great understanding of what his condition is. I'm one of the residents that helps co-lead our homeless health initiative. We recruit volunteers from our residency program to go to the shelters and participate in these workshops where we have time to spend with the moms, just the doctors and the moms. And so I feel like this is actually a special space where they can ask more direct questions that pertain a little bit to them. They help by coming out and giving us mom time. I want to call it mommy time because the kids get put in a different room and we get to discuss what we go through as homeless moms just to hear what other women go through and to get their input and in how we're raising our children, it helps. They have kids they're taking care of around the clock, by themselves usually, and so this gives them 90 minutes of time to focus on themselves, to recharge their batteries and be able to go back out and deal with whatever they have to deal with in the world. It really is about sharing knowledge. It's a win-win for both parties. When I was living in my house, my children was on the schedule. I was able to feed them healthy things to eat. You know, I was able to shop how I wanted to shop, store my food, how I need to store it, things like that. I'm, I can't do it here. Doctors and nurses really need to dip into their toolbox because they may know the advice they give to a family who lives in their own home about picky eaters. But when you're talking to a family who lives in a shelter where they can't cook their own meals, then you're going to give them different advice about how to deal with a picky eater. When people think of someone homeless, they think that whatever they did to get there, they deserve to be there. I don't deserve to be here. I work hard. I, you know, I want the best for me and my children. And I'm not used to living like this. I'm used to having my own house. You know, my kids have their own space and, and it's not easy. It's just really not. We recognize a lot of families have experienced trauma before coming into shelter. So we run our programming in a trauma-informed way. Trauma-informed care is an approach to how we treat families, not blaming our patients and our families for the situations that they're in. It's trying to understand how they got there by asking open-ended, culturally sensitive questions. So an example of an open question could be, where are you living now? Or I'm really here to help and I'd love to learn more. Would you be willing to tell me about what you're going through? So using the type of open language would really give someone hopefully a safer space to feel that they can share that information and give them autonomy to decide whether they want to. When the doctors come out, they really take their time. And if the doctor sense that you're feeling uneasy, they sit down and talk to you for a little while, you know, to make sure you're okay. And I think that is compassionate care. 
healthcare providers are out there. They're taking care of this population, whether they know it or not. And it's better for them to know it so that they can prescribe care for the whole family. What we hope doctors and nurses will do is after volunteering with HHI, they will take the things they've learned and incorporate it into their medical practice, but also that they will share that with their colleagues. This is an opportunity when you're working with residents, with students, to help empower them to teach others for a lifetime and to change the way other trainees are thinking and learning about socioeconomic disparities and social justice issues. The work that I do with families who are experiencing homelessness gives me this desire to continue to learn more and do more for the community and really the resilience that they have is something that I get a lot of inspiration from. I can't fix the housing situation in the city of Philadelphia, but what I can do is be there and be their cheerleader every day and remind them you're doing incredible things and your children are going to be okay. And that's what I will continue to do for as long as I can.